hi guys welcome back i hope you're doing great in this video we're building something very interesting so this is a small mini course that i'm building and this is the first video and i just want to introduce the whole course to you and uh, in the sense how it's going to look like so this is a video chat project using golang so we're uh, going to create rooms where you can have video calls as well as chat uh, with the other people in the same room so let's uh, create a room here so it has created a room and as you can see me in the in the room but there are no other people in the room so it gives you these pointers that saying that there are no other streamer in this room you can share uh, you can copy your room link you can share it with a friend of yours if this is on production you can put it on uh, aws and then share this link with your friends and they and can they can join the join call the call you. So as you can, as see, you can I'm see i'm having, having a call with call myself, myself a different, different tab all right so uh, these are the features and then you also have chat so different people in the same room can have chat going on and uh, there can be multiple people uh, in the sense i've not tested the limit of this but uh, safely you can have like 20 to 20, 30 people in the same room uh, I've, I've tested with just six or seven people but you can take it to the next level you can you know, take it with 20 30 or 40 people also you let me know what happens you know when you <laughs> use this project so you can uh, leave the room and you can be back at the welcome screen which is very very simple all right uh, so you must have noticed that I've kept this front end very, very simple. And that's because this we're going to focus on Golang because there's a lot to cover. Uh, I'll, and I'll show you, I'll take you through the entire project uh, the from a 10,000 feet perspective. So this is, like I said, the first video, the intro video. And I'll keep uh, posting videos on this series slowly, like about uh, once every week or once every two weeks. Uh, so basically, we're going to be using Docker Compose. Uh, so, so like I said, you know, things are going to get a little complicated in this project because we have we have to work with uh, video calling and Golang, right? So, we'll use Docker Compose to contain create different containers, Docker containers. So, we'll have our Docker files and our Docker Compose files separately, and then uh, we're going to be using Golang at the center of everything, uh, which is our main server, and JavaScript for the front end. Now, I won't be using a framework like uh, React. I'm just using plain simple JavaScript so that we can keep things as simple as possible bare bones structure We'll have WebSockets and WebRTC two different things So WebSocket is for the chat functionality that I just showed you WebRTC is for the video calling functionality So these two different technologies along with Golang Okay, and then this is your project structure at from a 10,000 feet perspective just to plan out what you're going to do but when we actually start building, we may make some changes because I'll be building everything from scratch with you. So I might take different decisions this time when building it from scratch. So we'll have a main.go file, we'll have a server.go file. And server.go file basically will have our uh, routes. And then we'll have our route handlers. These are the different, uh, we'll have a separate file for every single route handler. So chat for uh, handling chat, for handling the room in which the, uh, you know, multiple people can join in. And then for streaming, and then for uh, you know the main welcome screen we'll have a separate handler for that as well then you have your uh, client and hub for your chat and your peers basically multiple people can join right so for your uh, room you'll have different peers so multiple people can join and have a call between themselves then you have your at the same level as main.go file which is the main file uh, you have your docker compose file and your docker file and then you have a views folder where you'll have uh, basic javascript stuff you know, just the the, the, f the first page, the second page, those things. And then PeerJS uh, is a library that we'll be using to help us, uh, you know, connect with the, uh, like connect with different peers in the front end. That's what we're doing. So this is basically the entire uh, project structure. Uh, now you can stay subscribed to the channel so that you come to know when the next video comes out. And I hope you find this project interesting. So it, it took me a long time to build, but then to record all the videos and build it from scratch again, will take a very long time. So uh so that's why i'll, I'll take uh, you know my time in uh, shooting it and updating this course uh, on on youtube so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode